This is episode 3 of how to stop being needy and desperate in love. Strict rule number 5. Practice to never react impulsively when the topic of other girls comes up when you're having a casual conversation with your boyfriend. Halimbawa, imagine your boyfriend told you na nakita niya yung old friend niya na babae and even mentioned na mas gumanda siya kesa nung high school sila. Tapos, nakwento niya pa sa'yo na nagkakwentuhan sila and he even concluded that she's doing really well. So, yung impulsive reaction mo and usual mong ginagawa is you might feel threatened sa idea of him having a friendly interaction with someone especially in the opposite gender or you might be the type of woman na you might ask a lot of questions about their conversation like anong pinag-usapan nyo? Did you flirt with her? Baka may gusto ka sa kanya kaya kinausap mo pa siya? Alam mo yun, you sound like ina-accuse mo siya na may ibang motive and binibigyan mo ng malice yung situation. You might even be the type of girly na you might react angrily and lash out. Mas worse, you do all these things. Tapos, yung boyfriend mo confused kasi wala naman siyang ibang minimin. Girl, if you do this, ngayon pa lang sinasabi ko na sa'yo na you need to stop this. Kasi ako, gantong ganto ako before. Looking at it, it's really toxic. It's not a good look na ganto yung ugali ng isang babae. It just shows na getting all this competition from other girls means na you're not confident in yourself. It shows na you have a low self-esteem and you feel insecure about your worth. It's also an indication na hindi ka secure sa relationship mo and sa sarili mo. And and this trait is very, very unattractive. And hindi siya quality ng isang pagiging high-valued woman. So, kapag nangyari to, if something similar like this happened again, this is what you are going to do. Pakinggan mo lang siyang magkwento, acknowledge his observation very calmly, and this time, you have to practice eliminating defensive and insecure comments and really challenge yourself to not react this way. Kahit alam mo yun, alam mo sa sarili mo na sobrang hirap. Kasi, never kang nag-react na ganito. Never kang nag-react na unbothered. Just move on and do not ever give him cold, silent treatment after the conversation you had with him. Ipakita mo sa kanya na this time, you're not bothered at all. Kasi girl, the more you do this, ganito ang mangyayari. Number one, the more na ma-feel ng partner mo that he doesn't have to hide anything from you. He doesn't feel the need to be overly cautious or careful about what he says or does around you. Especially kapag may similar happening sa life niya that involves interactions with other people. May isip niya, he can share anything with you without the fear of getting consequences. He will feel trusted. He doesn't feel the need na kailangan niyang ulit ulitin sa'yo or i-prove na lagi siyang faithful. And did you know girl that studies show that men are attracted to women who are confident and secure in themselves? Girl, remember, it takes practice to change your reaction but it's going to be worth it. In the long run, mas magkakaroon ka ng peace of mind. Another example would be, imagine you're having a casual conversation with him and suddenly the topic of his past relationship comes up. Napagkwentohan nyo yung mga past flirtations niya and diba, yung usual mong ginagawa is you might feel tempted to bombard him with a lot of questions about how those relationships were. You become curious about the details, you start comparing yourself to those girls, or worse, you even stalk them online. This can also lead to excessive overthinking and getting stuck in his past relationship. And kapag nangyari to, girl, you need to catch yourself early on. Just listen genuinely to what he's saying, show interest, and just move on. As in, don't be too serious with it. Girl, getting a little jealous is cute, but being overly jealous is not. Try to never bring the topic back again. It's also important to understand that this past relationship has nothing to do with you. Kailangan mo mag-focus sa present moment and remind yourself that worrying excessively about his past is a waste of energy. During this time, you need to be selective. By staying calm and collected, by staying calm and composed, you demonstrate maturity and confidence. Always remember that you're doing this because you want to be a high-valued woman. And practice na to sa sarili mo. And last example, you're with your boyfriend's family or maybe friends, mga pinsan, tito and tita, and they start making jokes about your boyfriend's past girls or relationships. 
that a girl yung gagawin mo. Instead of getting defensive, reacting with anger or sarcasm, instead of giving them quiet and cold treatment, or you might even take the joke seriously and even lashed out, practice this from now on. Just genuinely laugh along with the jokes and mag-focus ka lang sa fun aspect of being with his friends or other people and just enjoy the moment. Girl, don't let a few jokes ruin your entire evening. Isa to sa dapat mo matutunan. Don't take things too seriously and personal. And alam mo, by reacting this way, people around you will be amazed about how you handle the situation. Like they'll see you as someone who is very confident and secure. They'll see you as someone who is not easily threatened by other people's actions and words. It shows na you value yourself. They'll see you as someone who can handle a situation in a very mature way. Girl, by reacting very calmly and confidently, you'll likely to have a positive impression on others. Again, it shows that you are very strong, secure, and a mature woman who can handle difficult situations with grace. So girl, put the strict rule into practice. So don't just think about them, use them in your daily life. See you next week! If you're a girl, you have goals, but you always let it slide because of your excuses, this video is for you. Ito yung mga reasons na sinasabi mo sa isip mo when you don't want to do something. This is the little voice inside your head that tells you to put things off, to delay, to postpone your errands, to avoid the hard work, and to find a reason why you can't do something. Dahil tamad ka, you lack self-discipline, and obviously, you lack self-control. Here are the things that you need to remind yourself to stop making the excuses. How to fall in love with the process when it gets hard. This video is for you if you're a girly who's chasing a dream, maybe you're starting a new project, and struggle ka to handle moment when you don't have energy to push through at all. But suddenly, you stopped along the way kasi hindi mo inexpect na andaming hard work to make your dreams a reality. So, you end up postponing it and decided to just go back to your old job. Pero alam mo yun, deep down though, you still want to make that dream happen. Pero hindi mo alam how to finish what you started. Have you ever found yourself scrolling on your TikTok and Instagram all day instead of focusing on your goals? What if I told you na ang key para ma-achieve ang dream life mo ay nasa ability mo mag-resist ng temptation? Girl, if you're constantly using yourself when you enter a relationship, you obsessively worry about him, or kaya naman you have all these needy and desperate traits na hindi mo makontrol, sign na to that something's not right. I've been there too and I've been reading powerful sources that help me be more secure with myself. And I'm going to share it to you. Don't do things excessively for him that he can do on his own. Never get angry when he doesn't reach out to you right away. Diba? Kapag hindi mo kaagad na-contact yung boyfriend mo, ang hilig mong mag-overimagine, mag-overthink, and we both snap right away pag wala siyang paramda. Practice yourself to stop over-explaining and just let it go. Halimbawa, girl, don't overhype everything that he does. Especially if it is something he is expected to do in the relationship. Don't value too highly his actions and words. Stop this excessive appreciation over his simple gestures. Stop over-praising him, especially if it is expected for him to do. 